morning my gorgeous lot, welcome back to my channel. Um, I just thought I would vlog because me and Lou are actually nipping away for the night, the first night we will be away since February. It's nothing exciting and to be honest we still aren't fully letting our hair down because we've got some kind of like life admin stuff to do while we get to the hotel room and I've got my car and my tea but do you know what, that's not the point. We are going away for the night, we're staying in a Premier Inn, I always have the bestest night's sleeps in a Premier Inn. Um, so yeah, anyway. So I'm just going to have to drop off the office key because Dad's going to work in the office today and tomorrow. But yeah, I've just got a really nice kind of like outfit on and I'm just feeling quite nice. It's just nice just to kind of dress up, you know what I mean? So anyway, off to Mum and Dad just now and I'll see you all on the journey. <laughs> so I plan to pop into Primark today because um, the camera tea is 11 so it's like 8 o'clock just now. And so I kind of have a feeling that my camera tea will be in there for a while. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. Gonna keep it low now. If you wanna go, let's go. Let's wrap it up and hit the road. I just got an awesome vibe. Striking the wind of hopes now. Liberty's on my mind. We've taken off, we've left the ground. You, you gotta understand that we get one chance, one chance. You. So, guys, we've made it here. We've just dropped the car off and we are currently stood in a very schwab. What does schwab mean, Lee? Fancy. We're sitting in a very fancy car park because I usually just put my car in for its MOT with the bog standard Arnold Clark with like the mixed cars outside. We booked it in with the Mercedes because um, because Lou, there was no other, you can't book it anywhere else basically. So I felt like a bit like an outcast being in their um, in their garage because I was like, here's my Audi key in your Mercedes garage. Um, <laughs> did you see that? So anyway, we've been kicked out, we haven't been kicked out, they, they're going to go do my car now, fingers crossed it passes. Um, and we're just stand right next to the motorway, um, just basically waiting for our taxi, who's going to take us to the Premier Inn, because we just kind of figured that we can't really go anywhere without a car. Well, you could get a taxi into town, but I'm not going to lie, Lou, you're not much of a, a shopper, are you? I could leave you at the Premier Inn and just go shopping myself, how does that sound? It sounds great. That's us. Right, well I might do that, um, but we've just been debating of what lunch we might order to the Premier Inn, so I think I might get like a, we might, well Lou really likes KFC, so I feel like I'll let you have a KFC today, because usually I win, oh my gosh it's going to rain, usually I win with my Burger King, but anyway, once the car's out of the garage, Lou's taking me to Primax, and then B&M, so can't wait. Anyway, I'm going to go now, um, taxi's coming, and it's raining, and I always wear a hoodie, under my jacket, under the hood, just in case that's raining, I've got hair protection. So, we have just arrived at the Premier Inn. Arrived? The pr arrived? We've just arrived! <laughs> Sounded very posh, Harriet. Um, so we just arrived at the Premier Inn, um, we checked into our room, um, very nice. It's actually not as fancy, oh, um, it's not as fancy as our usual Premier Inn room, but guys, look at my outfit, I'm absolutely flipping love it. It's like leather trousers with my so Balenciagas, you know, you get me. And um, this gorgeous puffer jacket. Lou's already catapulted himself into the bed. Um, I keep reminding him it's lunchtime. <laughs> um, I've got this really nice jacket that I bought one on eBay, which is like a phase eight jacket. It's got this gorgeous like clasp in the middle. It's just total cozy back. <laughs> total cozy vibes. I absolutely love it. Um, but yeah, Lou, have you got the food ordered? He's told me that I couldn't get We're ordering a KFC basically because it's literally just turned one o'clock and we are starving. Starving. Ravenish. We, what's the word? Ravished. We are starving basically. And um, we haven't ate all day. So we thought, well, do you know what? We'll just order a nice KFC to the room because obviously we're now we've not got any car. My car's in the garage. La di da di da. Um, so yeah, we're just waiting. Lou was like, you can't, you can't get the food to work. He's even shut the curtains because we're just blocking the light out. And basically, I couldn't get the food to work. Because um, somehow Lou was meant to be able to get you working here. You've got to choose a delivery slot time, it just wouldn't work. So I've just got into Primark, guys, and I'm quite honestly chosen the best time to come to Primark. It is quarter to five, they shut at six o'clock, and there is no one in. It's quite stocked up, there's still quite a lot of fits in here. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get looking and see what I can find, I'm so excited. 
first of all I spotted this gorgeous bodysuit that would go so well with like wet leather jeans which I've just put in there um, it's just a gorgeous kind of green emerald colour and I absolutely love it I would pick this up in a small and it's £8 I absolutely love these checkered jackets this one's kind of like a finer check I think it's called a herringbone print actually from when I used to work in, in, my, in the knitwear shop when I was in my early teens and this one's just like a thicker check, it's absolutely lovely and they are both, how much are they? £35 which I think is so reasonable for a really good quality jacket and they've got this gorgeous tie in the middle this one I love it but do you know that way when you just don't know if it's too out there for you but I just literally love them oh my goodness look how cute this unicorn um, hot water bottle is it's got like an almost kind of like like what's it called like stuffing at the front and then the hot water bottle at the back how much is it six pounds love that and i've got a really really super soft pink one which is four pounds lovely omg i seriously need these grinch pajama bottoms and a pajama top set i'm not really a huge christmas fan of pajamas but these are super soft like a thin a thin knitted and it's green and white stripes with the red grinch and it's 10 pounds for the top and 10 pounds for the bottom i think it's gonna have to go in my basket i just i love the coloring of it and oh yeah i'm gonna get these i think i absolutely love this it's like a like a kind of hold all makeup bag you could even have it as a clutch bag it's just got this gorgeous kind of like faux leather detailing down the front with gold zip detail and how much is it oh it's not even on a oh it doesn't even have a price on it but i absolutely love that really like it it's actually not showing up on the camera how nice it is found loads of them over here in the travel section they've also got this other like kind of travel bag and um, that one's like more of a sort of structured one and that one's six pounds and the one down there I just showed you is four pounds but you could so use that one as a clutch bag so I always go upstairs to the men's changing room bit and have a little look and see what I've put in my basket and like reevaluate the situation but by the time I get up here I am literally sweating I don't know about any of you guys have you found shopping at the moment it's like the first 10 minutes you're like everything's cool and then you get to like be in the shop for like nearly half an hour and you are sweating so I'm gonna go and reevaluate what I've got in my basket and then I'm gonna go to the checkout I haven't got a huge amount but when I say that it'll always come to loads I'll let you know how much it comes to after um, but I'm gonna give a little text and say I'll be ready in like half an hour I'm just gonna have a wonder just now around the home section and see what home bits there is um, but after that, that's me done. That's loads of, loads of hot water bottles in Primark. I suppose it is Christmas time, right, after all. Um, but yeah, I'll see, if, I'll show you if there's anything else I spot. But if not, I will see you at the car. <laughs> range and I'm just wandering around. I've got quite a filled basket. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, six things in the basket. So just enough for kind of a haul. Probably as I'm going around I'm gonna pick up some more bits. So I haven't actually hit the Christmas section yet up and that is probably where it's gonna go extremely downhill because we are like a week from November, less than a week now, from November and that's when things just go a little bit cray cray for me because I start picking up loads of bits but look what I've just spotted and I am the lighting's gone really bad. Look what I've just spotted, I'm actually in love with it. I'm in the light section, it's like a glitter snow globe. And yes, you would think, oh yeah, maybe she's gonna buy it for like her little sister or brother. No, just look at this for me, not my brother, for me. <laughs> oh my gosh, look how amazing this is. It's a glitter water light, it's color changing LED. Can you imagine watching films of this? I think it goes green, purple and blue. I'm actually thinking now, I'm looking at this, I might pick up one for me. One for my little sister and one for Lou's niece because um, they're, they're both like eight so they're both in that, that sort of that sort of age where they love things like that but that is the coolest thing ever. Love it. And it's 4 99 it's the perfect gift for somebody. Love that. OMG, I repeat, we are entering the Christmas zone. Oh my goodness. There is so much stuff. My little head is like so excited right now. Oh, hallelujah. Look at that cute little reindeer, it says I believe in the magic of Christmas, I love that, it's so cute, it's £1.29 and there's, oh my gosh, I got that one last year, it's a glass bauble and it is £1.39, it's just got gorgeous red with gold Merry Christmas all over it, it's stunning. Our Christmas tree is kind of, our Christmas tree is like a mix of red, gold, um, not anything green, um, nothing silver really, but just red and gold and yeah, green just super Christmassy colours, absolutely love it. Um, 
and I just have a mixture of everything on my tree and I collect decorations every single year just to make it extra super special and there's a memory with every single bauble that I pick up. Um, so yeah, I can't wait to pick up a couple of more extra special ones this year to add to the tree. Lou's probably going to be like, Harriet, we've got to get rid of some from last year because we've got too many. But um, he is probably right, we do have a lot of decorations. Um, but I'll probably maybe like put a bundle on my local selling page and then top up some of the, like a bundle of the ones that are as special, if you know what I mean. Um, so yeah. There's a front walk past this one. £1.29 and look at the deed. This looks like some. Oh, is it going to focus? Is it going to focus? I'll just tap the screen. This looks like something. It's not going to focus on it. This looks like something you would get in John Lewis. It's glass. It's like a champagne gold with this gorgeous diamantes at the top. And I'm so going to pick this up. It's £1.29. How is that £1.29? It's just absolutely stunning. I love it. Oh, and I love these ones. They're like a deep, sort of burgundy red. They are stunning. Christmas, for me, is reds and golds and greens. And just, oh my gosh, look at them colours. And they are plastic ones, but they're £1.90. And I just have a complete mix of baubles on my tree. and just love them. Absolutely love them. So they're going in my basket. We've just got back to the hotel room. And I've just literally laid all our food out. We've got Azizi's takeaway. So we've got calamari... Um, courgette chips. That looks a bit. <laughs> that looks a bit random, doesn't it? Like that's like on a sourdough. But anyway, it's basically like a mozzarella-y garlic bread. But I'm not really sure what I think about it. It looks a bit random, doesn't it? I don't think it's cooked it. <laughs> but anyway, we've got um, truffle chips, carbonara in there. Just shutting that to keep the heat in. Garlic prawns in like a summer in a sun-dried like pasta thing. Luke, come on, show yours. Come on, looks exciting. Show yours. <gasps> Wow, this literally smells amazing. The food looks so good, I cannot wait to eat this. And of course, I bought a bottle of wine and I've just put my bottle of wine in a little glass which I bought. Voila. Thanks, Lou. Cheers. Do a cheers with a non-glass. Non, non Pretend to... Cheers. <laughs> Morning, guys. I'm back in my jacket. I'm back and I'm ready and I'm waiting for Lou. Um, it is half past ten. Me and Lou never rush Lou Premier in. By the time we leave, it'll be like eleven-ish. Um, but you always watch the. I had the one I had the best night's sleep I've had in so long. The Premier in beds are just. I don't know what it is. I know you can buy the mattress online. I've been saying to Lou for like ever, we need to buy the mattress online. But who actually? I don't know if anyone actually does that. Like, I'd let me know in the comments. Have you ever heard of anyone that's stayed in a Premier Inn and gone onto their website and bought the mattress and bedding set? Because I literally feel like I have the bestest night's sleep when I stay in a Premier Inn. I have no idea what it is. Just have such a good night's sleep. So anyway, we are in the Premier Inn just now. I'm going to go and head to B and M's and Tesco's. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to film much in there because b and I'm actually going to film a separate video of like a what's new in b and Christmas section kind of video. Um, and I don't know if this will go up before that or that will go up before this, but I don't know. I'm going to film that in there. So yeah, I'm just sat here basically waiting for the everything's all packed up. Um, and yeah, we're going to head to the car and just have a kind of, I don't know, just I've got to go to b and and Tesco's and then we're going straight home. So yeah, I'll um, take you guys along with the rest of today. <laughs> Cheeky Mackie D's. Remember Lou, no tomato. <laughs> He's checking out the menu, seeing what he fancies. I usually get chicken selects, but this time I'm spicing it up a little bit and I'm getting a chicken BLT without no tomato because Lou's going to ask about tomato. I'm going to have mozzarella dippers and I'm going to have a Fanta because why not? Oh. Chicken BLT meal, please, large. What drink would you like with that? Um, Fanta, please. Can I have it with no tomato? Is that alright? No problem, anything else? Uh, yeah, can I... I've put a wash light on. Um, we've cozied up on the sofa for a few hours and it's just been nice because the weather is just so windy out there. Um, it's just been nice to cozy up at home and put a wash light on, washed a bit of the washing from when we were away. It was just so cozy to just be able to sleep in a Premier Inn for the night. I don't know about you guys, but I found find their beds like the comfiest beds ever. So I just, I always have the best night's sleep. So I literally cannot wait. The Premier Inn's at the moment, which is it's really sad, but it's the 29 pounds at the moment, our local Premier Inn that we really, really like. It was really newly revamped this year. 
so um we always go and stay at that one and it was 29 pounds for the night so um i don't think i will ever change from my 29 like my premier ins i just flipping love premier ins um but yeah i'm gonna end the vlog here guys i'm gonna try and i'm gonna um i'm gonna be uploading two vlogs a week throughout the winter so make sure you stay tuned for them um and following my day-to-day -day shenanigans not that it's very exciting but yeah thank you so so much for watching guys and i will see you all very soon in my next video night guys <laughs>